I've been working in the corporate world for nine years, and I just think that coworkers are not your best friend. There's five reasons why I think that way. It's just based on my personal experience, and hopefully, can get sign you in light if you haven't started a job yet, or you're about to start a job, or you already end the job. And I'm gonna cover five of my personal experience why I think that coworkers are not your best friend. Right. Uh, reason number one is relationship is based on convenience. The reason your coworker kind of talk to you is because both of you are in one place at one specific time, right? So the, it's kind of like school, right? You go to school at eight o'clock. The work starts around maybe eight or nine, and it's the only time that both of you are together. So it's very convenient. You can like talk to that person about work related stuff or about a little bit about personal life, and you then once they are together, you guys can also like maybe like help each other on like specific projects and stuff, or seek advice from one another. But the thing is, once the convenience is gone, the person might not talk to you again. So maybe if the person switch. To a new department, or if the person have to like quit the job, and he or she doesn't really come to that place anymore. So my previous, I I work at this current company for like two years now, and I work with maybe like twenty、uh, coworkers, and ten of them already switched switched jobs, and three or three or four of them. Had I、like, we were like really really great in relationship right and even my previous like my previous manager he was like really great um we talk a lot、uh, in our personal life right when you go out and eat once he switch to a different department we just completely cease talking like I try to put in effort to talk to him he try to put in effort to talk to me but the convenience is not there. Because we have to try to work out the time, work out when we can go out and eat and stuff after work. And after a month, we we kind of just completely stopped,、uh, kind of talking to each other. Because when we were working working together, we know we know we know our schedule, right? But now once he's gone, I don't know his schedule that much anymore. And we he always had to like, um. Kind of make a different, suggest a different timeline. I know it was stressful for him because he had work after after work, right? And I I already finished work, and when the time comes, I also might have different work coming up. So once the convenience is gone, the coworker might not be talking to you anymore. It is it's a bit harder to like talk to your coworkers, right? And Reason number two is, you might connect with、uh, connect to a coworker over a、uh, over a toxic a toxic manager or a toxic、uh, person. So that could be a reason that you're connecting with that specific coworker, right? So maybe you you both have like a really toxic manager.、Um, I had that experience too, where I had a. Really toxic manager, and the another designer he thinks the、uh, same thing, and we connected over that specific topic on how do we resolve that issue, and we just talk about how the day our day went, and what are the things that the manager did that made him mad, and what are the things that manager said to me, and the things that was really just exaggerated, and that helped me really. Bond with that specific person real quick because we have common, um, common goal, which is or common experience, which is being working with a toxic uh manager, and that could really like accelerate our kind of my relationship with the my coworker, right? And you you might also have like a uh, or you might be working at a different place and uh. You are a、uh, you're working with a toxic coworker, right? And you you know everybody in the office hates that specific person, 
So you might talk about what he said, what he did, and later on you bond with your neighboring coworker and try to like talk about it. And it's kind of like, kind of I I would say it's kind of like a therapy sex break because whenever you work with a toxic person, it's hard, right? I I can I, I can tell you that it makes everything harder, not easier, because even the smallest things can trigger that person and try to make it into a big deal and you just it just make the life so much harder and once that person is gone maybe you can talk to your co neighboring coworker about some different things or maybe you don't bond that well anymore right it, it just depends on the person and reason number three that coworkers are not your friend is because you don't really know that person that well you don't really know each other that well other than work um once uh, that's why i noticed like working in the corporate world after work nobody want to hang out with you right you see they just they just want to go home to hang out with the family to hang out uh with if they have kids they'll probably have time to uh do uh to hang out with the kids and do some parenting stuff which is totally understandable why would they want to hang out with you when they spend eight hours with you in the office, right? Um, there's this like specific instance where I had like coworkers go work out with me in the gym, which is pretty good and helped me um, feel less lonely sometimes when a coworker decide to like spend his personal time try to hang out with me after work, which is great. These are like coworkers that have potential to like um, be your best friend, which is very, very rare. But majority, the majority of them is you either ask them questions, they answer word related questions. And after that, you don't really uh, talk to them anymore, right? It's kind of like going to school when you were in high school. You only have two or three or maybe one best friend. You don't make friends with every single student in high school. Same thing with like workforce. You don't really make friends with every single coworker. You want to maintain a good relationship with all the coworkers, right? But at the same time, you can't make friends with everyone. And maybe you, you missed out in a specific project or maybe you say something bad about them on your like uh, meetings or something like that and that could just ruin the relationship it's very i feel like working uh in the corporate world is very hard to maintain a good relationship if you are in a stressful environment right there's in my in my the workplace there is performance review where you can write each other reviews once some if something goes horribly wrong about a specific project and yeah i feel like most of the time me and my coworker just talk about really just work related stuff and we really never talk about um things we do personally and occasionally we would like there's one thing i like about my current workplace is every monday we start off with what we did on the weekend and that's kind of like what we talk about but we never really hang out on the weekends right and in order to form a more personal bond we need to like hang out after work or on the weekend and at the same time both of you gotta commit to like hanging out but i don't think anyone wants to hang out when you work together for eight years in the corporate uh, in the office right and reason number four is career transition and changes these this is probably one of the number one reasons that co-workers can never form long-term friendship uh, i know a designer and um, when i was working in arkansas i reached out to him a couple times on linkedin to talk to him but after a couple months he never reached out and i never reached out and the convenience of him uh like we work together is because that we went to the same building right the, the convenience of that is gone because he moved three hours away and we were like really close when we work together but once he 
had a career transition. Uh, it is so much harder to maintain that friendship. I either text him about something like just personal stuff, and he texts back. But it used to be like one or two texts because afterward they he probably have something going on and personal like life or personal enjoyment, and doesn't really have time to like text me anymore compared to when we were both in this building, but we both can talk about. Uh, what we did over the weekend, and uh, how do we, how he can give me advice on how to solve a specific problem on the project. Or once career transition changes, or he decides to jump to a different company. That's usually when uh, things really just accelerate because in order to maintain like a friendship with a coworker, you both got to put in effort, right? If you think that person connect with you at a deeper level. And you feel like that person have provide valuable, less uh, valuable lessons or advice. Um, yeah, you can connect over it. But majority of my coworkers right now have like kids and stuff, so it's really really hard to like collect them in a deeper level because I'm almost thirty, and majority of my coworkers are over thirty or late twenties. So they usually have a kid or something and that's really just hard to like connect with them after work because they are taking care of baby or they have a spouse or girlfriend they want to go on dates and stuff so it's definitely a lot easier to connect with co-workers that might be single doesn't have a family and stuff that could be a potential right and reason number five not everyone in your workforce have best intentions right everyone want to make money Money can make people greedy, right? They can make people do things that, uh, that could like uh harm you. So they might push you down the bus on a specific project, so they can get promoted because they think like, or they might take credit for all the things you did. Um, I was working like just personal experience. Um, I was working on a project, right, and. I did pretty well, and uh, the project had two people like me and the coworker work together. And once we sold the project to more executive senior leadership, there was some mistake on the project, and the coworker thought I did it, so he just kind of blamed it on me, uh, while we were just kind of presenting, and. That it was kind of like a big mistake and did, he, he didn't want to admit it and he was like maybe yeah i think it was like kelvin that did it and, and, and it was it put me in a real tough spot because I, I feel like that co-worker was just really selfish think about him all the time and that's what we really think about as a team and that put me in a really really rough spot so that just made me realize co-workers might not have Good intentions. Another instance is, uh, before I worked in the tech, I I was also a dental lab technician, right? And I was just talking to my coworker about my salary. At the time, I was making about twenty three dollar an hour. I just just like mentioned it casually, and the coworker heard about it. That coworker he was making about twenty one dollar an hour, and the next day he actually went to the HR to the manager and talk about how. I have a higher salary than him, and want to have a raise right now at that specific moment. And it kind of made it to a big deal. The HR had talked to me, and tried to like um, give me. I just kind of apologized, apologized, and told them I'm never gonna talk about that again. And there was, it, it, they did kind of like decrease my salary by a, a dollar, I think. Because I was making like making rate of twenty three an hour already, and they decided to do a twenty two hour rate hourly because I was about to get a promotion, but it stayed the same, right? So that that means I decrease by a dollar, and that really put, just made me realize that not all coworkers are not uh, your best friend. And thinking back nine years, I really haven't had a coworker that I still text them. Right, because usually the external factors, right? When when you lost your convenience to talk to that coworker, you don't really put any effort to get updates what he doing or what he 
uh, what pl what plans you have, right? Your all your coworkers might have already have a busy life, and I sometimes I try to reach out to the coworkers, and they might have like small talk with me, and we we can we really just go out and eat, right? Because dates and because like when you transition a career, it's when when we when you kind of end it or when your coworker got fired, right? Um, that's when they like maybe go find a new job or something and move to a different city. They have to move. And it just makes everything uh, more harder. That's just my personal experience, right? For the last like nine years that I work with, like all the people I work with, and uh, how many do I talk today? Or well, zero. Fewer people I talk to today. Well, that might not be the case for everybody because you might stay in the job for a very long time. And you might form a long-lasting relationship with a coworker, right? Um, I don't want to make this video saying that you might you might never find a coworker that can be your best friend, which is not the case. You can find a coworker that have like same interests, uh, same kind of a coworker that have good intentions and kind-hearted coworker. And if you can find that coworker, it actually make corporate life or working in the corporate world, working in any kind of job way easier, like way higher satisfaction. There was actually a study done by it because how happy you are depends on the quality of connection with the people around you. If you have a coworker that, that can talk about your personal life, your daily life, what you've been doing after work, your hobbies, and what problem you're experiencing and give you advice, those are the coworkers that are real to find. And honestly, I haven't really found a coworker that I can connect in a deeper level. The only one I can connect is my girlfriend, right? I talk to her about everything and she is really great. And I'm, uh, right now I'm traveling to work, so I still think about her, which means I really love her. But other than that, I haven't found a workplace coworker that is just like connect to me in a deeper level so it, it might be different for you right it might you, you might be working in a different maybe working in uh, uh in a restaurant and you find a waitress that you think match you really really well or you find you might be working in the kitchen right as a chef and you find another chef that taught you really well and you can continue to talk to them for years after I, I congratulate you, right? These are great friends as co-workers, but they are rare to find, That's in my opinion. Yeah, Hope, hopefully this video find it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And my name is Kelvin, and I'll see you guys next one.